Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so hello, and if you're new, hello, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of gift guide videos. <laughs> I also happen to make lifestyle content like what's for dinner, cook with me videos, clean with me videos, decorating videos, mommy stuff. I make plus size fashion and makeup and beauty videos, so if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bells so you are following along whenever I post as well as you can follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and see more of my not so exciting life. But if you're into that stuff, I'd love it if you followed. So today's video is the, I believe the fourth video in my gift guide series this year. And this is last minute shopping video or gift guide video of I can't stop shopping for my kids. So I continue to buy stuff. Basically, if any of you have any last minute shopping to do and are looking for some items that you can either get in the mail within time for Christmas and or buy at a store, this one is for you. Or if this is a year from now and you're watching this in like November and are looking to just start your Christmas shopping, I hope this comes in handy for you. So basically these are just things that I need to not have. I basically started shopping again after I posted my first gift guide of what I got my kids for Christmas video because I started shopping probably just before, like finished kind of my overall shopping before like Black Friday really happened and all the good deals dropped. I swear this year was so good with deals and everything was on sale. Things that I did not expect to be on sale were on sale and it was, I just couldn't say no. I couldn't pass it up and after looking at everything I just felt like the the stacks run even with presents and then I was like I'll buy more for this one and then I'll buy more for that one and then oh wait she has more so I have to get this. It was a mess and basically I just am looking for excuses to say I continued shopping. So <laughs> I don't feel like I went crazy overboard but for some of you this may be totally crazy and totally ridiculous but you know it is what it is. I love to spoil my kids on Christmas. I don't really do it through much the rest of the year and they're good kids and they're little ones and I don't have to justify it because I'm my mama and I want to give them fun things. So I hope this video does help you out and gives you some ideas if you're looking for last minute items or like I said if this is next year and you're just starting your Christmas shopping. So if you've never seen me before I have two daughters. One is named Olive and she is five and my youngest is Eleanor and she is almost three. I'm almost also sharing you a couple of gift ideas for my nephew, my youngest nephew. He is just a few months old, so he's an infant. And the stuff for my other nephew, my toddler hasn't come in yet, but I cannot wait any longer, otherwise this this would be going up on Christmas. So let's just uh yeah, let's just get started. Also, I'm really sorry for the glare that you're probably gonna consistently see in my glasses today. It is so dry and cold outside, and my eyeballs are hurting from it. I just can't wear my contacts. My eyes are way too dry right now. So I'm wearing my glasses and I've been getting a lot of questions for like my makeup and lipstick and stuff. So I'm sure I'm gonna get questions on the glasses. And these are actually from Zinni Optical, I believe. Um, I got them last year and I love them. They're great. I love affordable glasses. I refuse to pay like hundreds of dollars for designer eyewear and stuff. I just think it's ridiculous. <laughs> Plus, I like to change up my look a lot, um, and I actually, if you're interested in any of that, I will be having a video coming soon on a bunch of different really affordable eyewear and eyeglasses because I'm addicted to buying new ones, and I know that a lot of people are probably going to go to that eye doctor soon, new year, new you sort of situation. So if you're interested in some new eyeglasses, that'll come soon. Let me know below if you want some cheap eyeglasses. I love watching those videos. I have no idea why I'm obsessed with watching them. They just... And then I buy them and then I have like 50 pairs of eyeglasses that I don't need. But anyway, if you're interested, it's coming. <laughs> okay, so let's get started in this video. I've yapped for too long. The first thing I'm going to share with you is my youngest nephew. Like I said, he's just turning two months old. So his stuff is pretty much not useful at this moment, but eventually it will be. And the first thing I got him was this Fisher Price Linkables Musical Moose. Now any, you can get Fisher Price. I think I bought this on Amazon, but you can get it at Walmart, Target, wherever. It's really accessible. And this item I've seen literally every time I go to the store. Um, but he's super cute. My youngest had a one just like this, which it was a um, a robot. And I think it was in the first Christmas haul that I ever showed. And she loved it. I think they still have it. 
that one I highly recommend too. I will try to find it, link it below. It is just musical and she was obsessed. That was one of her favorite toys. And so when they came out with this little moose, I thought he was super cute and I decided to get him. But what's really cool is that they link up with other the other line and other toys in this line called the Linkables with Fisher Price. And so they have a sloth, an otter, a llama, and a hedgehog. And um, he, my nephew, got the sloth for like a baby shower gift. And then um, my mom is getting him the hedgehog. And basically, once they all like are on, they all talk and sing together and link and help learn. And I just think it's so cool and like really immersive. And it's fun to see like, I don't know, it's cool. My I got a couple actually of these for my other nephew for his uh, her for his birthday and he loves them too so basically I mean he just has colors oh, he sings hello. he talks and he teaches through you just talking he's super cute there's 25 songs sounds tunes and phrases um, but I love the fact that there's like link moles and he teaches counting and cause and effect so um, and the other ones I think do different things so there's like moving a to Z Otter, Lights and Colors Llama, Happy Shapes Hedgehog. So they all teach different things and really, really cute. And his little head bubbles. He's adorable. And he was like really inexpensive and he's been on sale I think this whole month. But I will have him linked below. And then I went on the Disney store and I don't think Disney, you can get stuff in time unless they're doing like expedited shipping. Um, but if not, if you have Disney store near you, you should be able to get these. I need a baby so bad because I want to put them on them um i'm not pregnant that wasn't like a pregnancy announcement i wish anyway so <laughs> this is these really freaking adorable uh bibs and they look like little bandanas and they have woody on them and then there's another one that has like the whole gang except it's missing buzz which is kind of sad but they have woody rex jesse bullseye they're really cute they're really nice and thick so they're definitely something that would like actually help catch spit up slash drool and i just think they're adorable they snap so they're not something that's velcro it'll eventually like fade and tear off and won't work anymore and um, these are $12.95. I think I got them on sale for like $6 or so, and they're so adorable. I freaking love them. They were supposed to come with a onesie, but the onesie ended up being sold out when I tried to get it. So unfortunately, I didn't get it with it, but it's cute. So I have to try to find another item to go with it. But these will look really cute with that onesie if you can get your hands on it. And um, to go along with it, so if you saw my first one I got because of Christmas, my youngest is obsessed with Toy Story and it's what she's asking for for Santa and so when she saw me get this for her nephew she was like I want it I want it um, but, but basically he's just like a little activity toy and you could um, he has this little clip so you can hang him on a stroller you can hang him on his car seat you can hang it on like the activity if you have um, one of those little activity mats um, tummy time mats kind of thing and it has like the little arches and you could put it on that um, he's super super cute he has rattles and chimes and his ear or his wings are crinkly so he's an awesome sensory toy he has nice shapes he is so soft and so adorable they also had woody bullseye and i want to say jesse in this line um but i got these off of amazon they're from the same disney baby line so they may be at the disney store but i got him off of amazon for probably cheaper than they would have priced them at disney so i will have him linked below but he is so cute i love him and i want another baby so i can give them all of these toys okay moving on to my daughter so daughters um i'm just gonna randomly grab i think um so this little book is for my oldest she's obsessed with art and coloring and drawing and trying to learn to draw she's so into it and i love to see her like just getting better and better and better and better she just loves it so i knew this was totally up her alley i actually almost got this for her for her birthday but i sided against it and then i was like what the heck i'm gonna get it now but basically it's a kawaii doodle 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 kawaii doodle class and it's just teaches like a bunch of like kawaii style drawing um this is totally up her alley she loves the kawaii style she doesn't know what it is but she just is attracted to that like simple lines and just like cuteness about it um and these, I think this is easy enough for her to try to grab onto. So, I mean, they teach, okay, I'm like picking all like the more complicated. So you can like learn how to draw a star or a planet. They teach plants 
and then after you can try it on your own and then they have like erasers and makeup and like they're just simple little things that I think she could get onto um, and something I can like practice with her with with her with it there's like ice creams and donuts and cupcakes and they just basic things and i think she could do it i think mean, they're so freaking cute i think this was around like 12 dollars or so it retails for 20. um it's a really nice sturdy thick book it's not really flimsy like the actual cover is not quite like hardback but it's not quite paperback it's like really thick cardboard cardstock kind of um super super cute and then all the last pages are tons of different just doodles that you can color in i just think it's so cute and it's something different and something that like i can do with her and we both can enjoy and it's something to be lasting effect on her and then to go along with it i got her a bunch of gel pins so these are 100 gel pins they like just keep going and going and going and going and they're in a bunch of different rainbows. These are from Amazon. I don't think these were very expensive. I'm sure she's going to lose the majority of these. And then I'm just going to be sad because they're going to be all gone. Um, but I know that she's going to love like drawing with them and coloring with them. And I think they're perfect for this type of like doodling. And so they have like mattes and shimmers and creams and all of these types of different ones. Over a hundred. Um, and, but I mean, you can get like tons of gel pins. But I think that's like a really fun gift and something that she's going to love and is going to keep her occupied. So, okay. So recently my youngest has just like been obsessed with Disney princesses. It's so weird to see her just branch into things because with my oldest, it's like I'd expose her to like Moana or something, or she was older when Moana came out, but like Elsa or something. And it was like, it just like took over, but it's like I had to initiate the exposure. With Eleanor, it's like she just knows. And it could be from her sister. I have honestly no idea, but she just like randomly was obsessed with Disney princesses recently and wanted this so badly. And it is the Disney Animators Collection little figure deluxe figurine set. They have a larger one. I ended up getting the smaller one just to kind of see how she likes them and if she actually ends up playing with them. Um, but they're just little, like, Disney figurines. They're really, really freaking cute and they're really detailed and they're, like, seem like substantial thick figures. And if you guys have watched my last video, she loves figures, any like little figurines, totally up her alley. So I know this is something she's really going to like. Um, they're glittery, glittery and cute. And all of the princesses are like in their like toddler age. Um, they have the majority of them. There are missing like Moana and Merida and Elsa and, but they have a lot of the like original, um, princesses and they're just so freaking cute and i'm so excited for her to get this i believe they don't have the price but i think i paid like 22 dollars for this i'm not quite sure how much it normally ranges for but i did get it on sale and then i think i had an extra coupon code on top of that so i definitely got it for a good price and i think she's gonna love it so if you watched my last video, I talked about how my um, oldest is getting an 18 inch jaw. She's getting the Jojo C one, which by the way, they did bring back in stock. So I have it linked below. I was so excited. I saw it today because I was searching online again. Anyway, they have it back in stock online at Walmart right now. And I do believe it's two day shipping and we'll get in time for Christmas. So I'm going to try to get this edited up loaded tonight so you can get this as early as possible. But they do have it back in stock. So if you're looking for the Jojo doll, it's back. I'm so excited for it. Hopefully it doesn't sell out before I post this video. Anyway, she's getting that doll and a bunch of 18 inch like doll accessories. And I uh, showed a picture in the video, but I didn't get to actually like have the product with me because it hadn't come in time. But I just want to share this with you. This is the New York doll school set for 18 inch dolls. And it's just basically like a really cute little doll set. So it comes with the whole desk and it comes with two outfits too. So I was going to get her the Our Generation like school outfit um, and I decided not to and I didn't even realize that this came also with the outfit. So it comes with the whole desk. I'm not gonna show you all that part, but it also comes with It also, it also comes with two separate uniforms. 
so it comes and it comes with like a little pencil pack that has like a little fake pencil in it and a little notebook and then two different uniforms so it has the cute little plaid tartan plaid kind of uniform and then it also has this one which has like the sweater and everything and then those are the accessories so cute so worth it this desk is really nice it's like made of like substantial nice hard plastic like i it's not flimsy i'm like trying to bend it and i can't the actual legs are metal it's so freaking cute this is the little desk part of it i'm so excited i'm gonna try to have to have my husband like have this made and ready to go such a cute thing so if you're looking for a desk and you don't want to buy like the whole huge art generation set or the american doll one or spend a lot of money I gotcha this is from Amazon <laughs> so it should come in time as well and so cute now I gotta figure out how to get it back in here anyway so I'm so excited for that and to go along with that we have this which is the my life uh, bedroom accessory playset so um, she I originally had ordered the my life bedroom accessory playset the vanity and the wardrobe and I ended up taking the vanity and the wardrobe back um, and just because I, this is her first time she's really getting a whole bunch of 18 inch doll stuff and I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money and her never play with them. Um, and her just to like ignore them and whatever. So, this is kind of like an exposure thing too of just kind of figuring how she likes it. Um, and the thing with the wardrobe is that this is actually has its own dresser and it's a real like usable dresser. So, she doesn't have a whole bunch of clothes. We are getting her a couple of things but they should all fit in here easily and then if she ends up loving it it's like such a good idea for you know gifts for next year or birthday or whatnot um and i think it's really cute this comes with like a whole little cubicle set which they have in their room just like this and little like um little storage bins this light actually works and turns on there's a side table books a little succulent a phone with a little speaker a little fake picture like this is so cute and totally what she decorated her room in <laughs> and um i just thought like this is the main one that she really really wanted and so we're gonna test it out friends we'll see like if she is into it afterwards and then we could go from there and look at the wardrobe and the vanity and all the other ridiculous amount of stuff that they have but i believe this was under 20 and you can get this at Walmart. I've seen them at pretty much every Walmart I go to so hopefully you can still get your hands on this one um, and this may also still be like a two-day shipping item as well and my mother-in-law is actually going to be the one to get this to her and it's super super cute and the quality is really nice like it's substantial so I like it. So for um, my mother-in-law's item for uh, my oldest daughter, youngest daughter, is this thing. Every time we're at Walmart, she freaks out and wants to use this so bad. And it's just a little play vacuum. This is from uh, the brand Spark Create Imagine. I think that's just an exclusive Walmart brand. It's not very expensive. I think this was like about $15. But this is something she's wanted for so long. My mother-in-law was asking for ideas and I was like, please just get this for her. Um, but it's just a little vacuum and there's like glitter and stuff inside of it so when you press it on here let me put it on let's do this so like it like has a light and glitter and it's super cute and then there's like a little handheld guy that lights up too and I'm sure that whenever I'm vacuuming and cleaning she's gonna bust this bad boy out and I'm sure her older sister will also like it too it's actually a pretty nice toy for the price I think it's like not super super cheaply made and stuff and I feel like look and vacuum sometimes you're hit or miss with like the quality so I'm excited I know she's going to be excited I have no idea how I'm gonna wrap this I may just like put it out on Christmas morning with the bow on it and pretend like it's been there the whole time I don't know another thing I got my youngest is and I think I'm gonna regret this but I told you in her stocking stuff for my stocking stuffer guide I got her some um putty magic putty silly putty and so many of you have helped me so much and given me other brands and places to also get more of the silly putty so thank you so much that is so helpful um but before i knew that i ordered this <laughs> this is like a hot item this year from play-doh this is a six variety pack and they have a bunch of different types of like play-doh so we got play-doh slime super cloud crackle super stretch foam both girls i'm sure will love to play with this and i'm sure i'm going to regret every aspect of this 
but it was not super expensive. I think I got this for like 10 bucks. You can get this at Walmart, Target. I did order this on Amazon. I will have it linked, um, but I'm sure that every kid would love this totally if it's in that age range. Literally, I mean, from three plus, I don't know how long. To, I mean, there's like eight year olds who love like that stuff now, even older than that. So, I mean, this is like a really good solid gift. Um, I just think I'm going to regret it because I'm gonna get it everywhere. But it's it'll be fun, right? My oldest is obsessed with Frozen 2. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's all she talks about now. It's like we saw it before um, Christmas time and it's like she regrets all of her wishes and desires for Christmas because all she wants now is Elsa and Frozen 2 and you know what, it's expensive. But luckily it's been on really great sales. <laughs> so Target and Amazon and Walmart have had Frozen 2 on sale and so many good buys for pretty much this whole month. And so, I took advantage of it, and um, they did already get Elsa and Anna, if you saw for my daughter's fifth birthday, her birthday's in November, so they already have the new dolls, but I did get um, them Kristoff, they don't have this, and so they're probably gonna end up sharing this, but I will put this under the tree for my oldest daughter, but I'm sure they both will get use out of them, and he, that sounds weird, they will both play with him. Um, I love Kristoff, he's one of my favorite characters. He's so freaking cute and sweet. And yeah, I got him like for like eight bucks one day at Walmart. I will have him linked below, but he was on sale and he's super cute. I just like him so much. Um, and my brother is actually getting Ollie the Elsa and Nock set. That's her favorite scene in the whole entire movie. She's obsessed with Elsa's dress and just like the whole song and everything and so, that is an ex Walmart exclusive, I believe. I will have that linked below, but um, she's so excited. So if you have another one who loves Elsa and Anna and are looking for something different, that one's actually a pretty unique one, and I like it a lot, and she's going to flip. Okay. For my youngest, um, she just, like, I think I said this in my stocking stuffer haul, but she's just, like, obsessive with Barbie now, too. It's like just awakened her like love for all of these toys. It was like figures for years. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, this whole new world of dolls. So, and it literally has been in with the last month. So I, you know, went along with it and they were having sales again. Everything was on sale. Um, and I got these two little Barbies for her. I got this one, which is the Fashionista line. I love this line. I love the diverse Barbies that they give. They brought um, two Barbies out in a wheelchair this year and one who has a prosthetic leg. I love that. I think this is amazing. This is such a good way to start talking about differences and saying, you know, like, normalizing and just in being inclusive and talking about diversity. I love that. And you get with Barbies. Like, anyway. So this one is 126. I wish they had names. I think that'd make it more fun. But she's a plus size Barbie. She's beautiful. Um, and I just, I don't know. I love her. I think she's adorable. I love her like fun tropical outfit. Um, I will say that I do wish that they would have a little bit more like diverse as far as like actual like representative cultures like I would love if they had some Indian Barbies who like had traditional saris on or langas or just obviously like that that is like an Indian Barbie doll they have a lot of like racially ambiguous Barbies which I think is great as well um, but I do wish that they had a bit more on that spectrum because I would love for my girls to have a doll that represents them and if you don't know my husband is Indian and um, I would just love that. I mean like that's a huge and it's half of them So I want them to have like something that reflects them too. And so I wish some Barbie Mattel if you're hearing me Bring out some Indian Barbie dolls Like I've tried researching it and stuff and they have like collectors editions from like the 1990s and stuff that are so expensive but they don't actually have like Barbies and saris and Lingas. And I think it'd be awesome if they also brought like African Barbies out in their traditional attire and just like all bunch of different cultures in their traditional attire and I think that'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be? I don't know. Anyway, call me crazy. I just would like some Indian Barbies for my daughters. Anyway, um, next we have this little doll. This one Eleanor picked out because it looks like her. This is Barbie Team Stacy. She has like a little laptop and a little headset. She's a little gamer and she's super cute. So she's like a little teenager or a tween. Um, really cute and yeah, totally looks like Eleanor and adorable. So both of those were like six bucks, super cheap. This next gift, good Lord. Um, <laughs> 
So I just talked about Frozen. My oldest daughter is obsessed again. Uh, she wants to be Elsa already for Halloween. She's already planned out her next Halloween costume. I'm sure that'll change by next year. But she's like really wanted the costume and she was asking for it. And she's like, no, it's okay. I'll wait till Halloween. And super sweet about it. You know what? I bought her the freaking costume. However, I thought I bought her like the ones that they have at the store. I wasn't about to spend $75 deluxe one at um, Disney because they weren't on sale and they will be by next Halloween. But so if she's like still certain that that's what she wants to be by Halloween, I will spend the, probably it'll be dropped down to like 40 or 50, I'll spend that, not 75. Anyway, um, I thought I got her the ones that were like hanging, I didn't, I got her like the flimsy Halloween one, but it'll work, It'll. she'll be happy, it's freaking Elsa, she's probably not gonna know the biggest of difference. Um, this was on sale for $14.99, and I did, I think I got the bigger size, yeah, I got a medium 7.8 just so she could have it and could like grow into it and all of that stuff. Um, but this is pretty flimsy and chinzy. But you know what? She's not going to notice and she's going to be happy clamp. And to go along with that, because it's what she wanted, were these freaking boots. These flipping boots. She's like, I need the boots too. I need them for my Halloween costume. Um, why do they not have like, so they're full on shoes. It's not like you can wear shoes inside of them. So I don't understand why they wouldn't just like cover the back. I don't know, it's like making it easy for every kid to get in them, I guess. But it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But anyway, these are the boots that she had to have as well for the costume. She has no idea. She thinks that she will definitely not be getting this until like Halloween time. And so I'm so excited because she's gonna be so pumped. But these are the little boots. I think they're around $16.99. I may or may not have gotten these ones on sale. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, but, they're pretty cute. They're nice and, you know, cute. I don't know what else to say. Nice. These ones are pretty nice. The other costume, I wouldn't recommend that one. Camera died. <laughs> anyway, so after I'd already ordered that one, um, I saw this at Disney Store and it went on sale and it is so beautiful that I definitely will be giving this one to her first <laughs> and then she can open that one and realize like woo I'm mad too um but this is from the Disney store and it's actually a nightgown so if you saw in my last in my my first one I had bought the girls matching like sort of matching my youngest said Anna and my oldest said Elsa but like the little nightgowns that um are at Disney or at Target and I noticed that the Elsa one seemed a bit on the smaller side, so it was already gonna have to take it back and size up anyway. But then when I saw this on the Disney website, my my oldest loves nothing more than to do art, dress up, or her like top two things that she loves more than anything. So I know like spending a little bit extra on a nightgown, um, but something that she would like just adore. And it's this beautiful Elsa, um, nightgown but basically this is the nightgown or type of style of dress in the second movie where which is her favorite part where she's with the horse and on the island and singing show yourself and she changes her dress and all that stuff um this is actually two pieces so it has this really really pretty this is actually two pieces so it has this really really pretty kind of like overcoat what do you want to call that? I don't know, like a little overcoat thing. And then it um, goes underneath and it still is kind of long sleeve, three quarter length sleeves and it looks like this. It is so beautiful. The quality is really nice. Totally worth the price actually. This was 30, oh good, oh great. I just read Canadian prices. I was like, holy crap, never mind. <laughs> Canadian dollars, it's 51. For US dollars, it's 36. Gosh, everything's so expensive in Canada. Um, anyway, I'm sorry if you guys have to pay that much money. Um, anyway, $36, and I did get it like 20% off as well. If you guys can get this and you have like a new an Elsa fan in your life, this is so pretty. Um, this is a 5'6". It does look pretty big. Like, I think this is going to be a bit big on her, but it's definitely something that she can wear for a long time, so that makes me happier. I almost sized up, and I'm glad that I didn't. So so stunning they had an Anna one but at the time I just didn't think my youngest would like appreciate it that much and then now it's like all she talks about is one in an Anna outfit so anyway long story short this is for my oldest and I'm this is probably the gift that I am most excited to give her because I think that this is probably going to be her favorite thing it is beautiful 
I like literally cried when I pulled it out, which is so ridiculous. But I just know that she's going to be so excited. And as a little girl, like if I got that and knowing like what I was so obsessed with, you know, like pulling that out would have been magical to me. So I cannot wait. So now she can wear the boots with that and she can wear that to sleep if she wants. And she also has the other outfit that she can wear um, for like fun and stuff like that. And I'm sure next she'll be like, where's the purple dresses? But I'm so excited for that gift. All right, to go along with the Barbie train for my youngest, these will go in their Barbie dream house. Um, and oh, they're just Barbie furniture, little extras, little funsy stuff. I recently organized a lot of their Barbie stuff and just got rid of things that were broken and yucky and junky. And even some of the furniture that came with the Kid, kid Craft Barbie house, which is a beautiful house and I love it. Um, I just, I, some of the stuff just wasn't the best of quality. So I ended up throwing that away and I ended up just getting a couple sets. Um, to go inside. So this is the Barbie living room set. It had to not have a title, but it's just a living room set. So it has a cute little sofa and a little cat and then the pillow, the TV, which they love the Barbie Life of the Dream House show, um, like some popcorn and some Cokes and stuff like that. And so a little remote uh, chess game or checkers, chess, checkers, whatever, board game. They're gonna love it. Super cute. This was like on sale, I think for like six bucks the other day at Walmart. For eight dollars along those lines it wasn't very inexpensive and then to go along with that this is like a heavy one like i'm wondering what the heck is inside this thing like it is heavy um this is the kitchen so for whatever reason there's just like a painted kitchen in the kid craft house there's like no actual kitchen stuff besides a refrigerator that's kind of eh. so um i wanted to get kind of like a stove top and the reason that i love these and i said this in my last thing is that i love when they have holes in it because then you could stick things in and not everything falls off like that's such a pain in the butt. But now looking at these tiny little forks and silverware, that's gonna be a pain. We may not give them those. Those just may magically disappear. But everything else I think I'll let them keep. <laughs> but I just think they're super, super cute and they're fun and I love the dish rack. These are inexpensive things, easy to pick up at the store, but they like, they look good. They're like, I loved getting this stuff when I was a kid. So those are for my youngest, but both of them will use them, I'm sure. Almost done, guys, I'm almost done. Um, to go along with my daughter's like 18 inch doll stuff, I got her in like the set, the school set. I got her this My Life um, lunch play set. So they do have this in store and online, and it comes with a little lunch box, which is super cute. It comes with glasses, a little freaking like Oreo, or like a whoopee cake, whoopee pie. Um, carrots, baby carrots, oh my. Uh, a cell phone case with a cell phone, which is also really cute. A little bottle of lemonade, some grapes, some organic milk, I thought that's like coconut milk, a little sandwich, and a napkin. So freaking cute. And this was like six bucks. I really, really like it. I think the quality is nice for the My Life stuff and really adorable. Um, and then for on the other spectrum, I got the Our Generation School Smarts. I did say, uh, mention this already in my stocking stuffer haul, but I think I'm gonna just put everything together in a big box with all the different um, doll stuff. And this one is just like a little backpack with a little uh, ID and a little notebook again with a pen and sticky notes. Really, really cute. This was on sale for about four bucks, I think, at Target recently. I think their stuff is still on sale. Um, but now she has literally the whole school set. So she has a lunchbox, she has a backpack, she has a desk, she has multiple school uniforms, and she has the school set. So she can be the teacher and Jojo is the student or whoever she wants to make the student, probably my youngest. And I am so excited because I think she's gonna love that too. Fingers crossed that that goes over well. <laughs> All right, uh, second to last gift. And this one is a freaking awesome one. This is the Kitty Zone selfie camera. So. I don't know who I'm giving this to. I don't know if this is just going to be a joint gift. The ages range or work for my almost three year old and up. So I think I think they both can get use out of this. I originally had this for my oldest, but I don't know yet. <laughs> but basically it's just a little kid camera. So they both love to want to be on the vlog and want to pretend to film too. My oldest will literally go in her room and set stuff up and be like, hey guys, so today, and like pretend to film her own YouTube video all the time. My youngest loves to take pictures and like is into all that stuff too. And so I just felt like this would be such a fun item for them to pretend along with and actually take pictures and video, but we're not gonna like create a channel or anything for them. Um, but 
this is the camera so it's it looks just like an lol doll like case like the stickers and stuff on it look like lol doll so if you have a, like a little one who's really into that totally perfect i feel like um they have video and picture so picture on this side video on this side super easy to do they do have a viewfinder on either side for them to look into um and then well this the lens obviously doesn't <laughs> do anything um but i think this also plays games too so this had inc i think this was completely five star review um reviewed out of like a ton of reviews it has its own case like a um charging cable and slash thing for the <laughs> computer a camera strap and a micro usd card included so you don't have to buy an extra one for memory which i think is awesome so um this is really really cute and i think this is actually something that they will like may not be super excited at first you'd be like oh cool a camera but then when they actually get to use it it'll be like a hot commodity item isn't that how it always works like things they really want it's like they don't play with that much but then like things that you're like oh this will be cool and they open it and they're like yeah whatever and then they love i feel like that happens with me all the time um by the way that was pretty cheap off of amazon um i don't remember the price but i think it was on sale it may still be on sale of course everything will be linked below i'm tired of saying that i feel like i annoy you guys with that <laughs> oh okay all right so the last item after we took everything for olive back like all the other two things um doll things uh eleanor had a lot more <laughs> And I was like, okay, what are we going to do? Like, I do definitely want to, like, buy something really nice for Olive and kind of um, stuff to kind of, like, help because she's five now and she feels really big and self-sufficient and super cool. And so I wanted to buy her a gift that she'd really use and really enjoy and would make her feel like a big kid. She already has a, ta a tablet, an iPad. She got it last year, if you guys saw that. And she uses it all the time. She loves it. Um, but I just sometimes feel uncomfortable with some of the games that they have on there and like the ads that come up with the games. And I don't want to spend like so much money, you know, every time with a game, like 12 bucks just to unlock everything so she doesn't have ads. But some of the ads on there can be inappropriate and they're geared for her age, but then they have like scandalous, like sexual ads. And I don't know, there's some stuff I just don't necessarily feel comfortable with. Even YouTube Kids, which I do love, I feel sometimes there are ads and shows and things that are just I'm like, I can't believe that they have that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of be more intentional and conscientious of what she's viewing and what she's taking in. And for her birthday, I originally was going to get her a Nintendo, not a Switch, what is it? DS, but it's like a big one, M Mega, I don't know. Anyway, I was going to get her that, um, but I decided to wait at least one more year because I, I thought like she was just a tiny bit too young um, as far as like being able to really do all the video games and stuff like that. I'm sure she probably easily could have caught on. I just decided to wait. But then after kind of really going over more of her YouTube games and kind of deleting stuff and filtering things through, I was just kind of thinking like, I want to get her to, because she enjoys video games. She loves playing that type of stuff. And so I wanted to get her something that was educational, that was something that was safe, that was something that was something she could do and learn with and just grow with. And I found this, which is the Leapfrog Rocket Twist, um, portable learning game device. This is for ages four to eight. And it's apparently it's an MP3 player in it. There's three different types of learning levels. It's on the go. You can play it without Wi-Fi, which is really nice too. Um, and it, I just, I don't know. I saw it at first. I thought this was like kind of a bigger item that they were pushing a lot this year. And I just totally overlooked it. And then one day we were in the store and they had it out to play. And I was like, this is so cool. So basically they have a bunch of different ways to play the game. So they have toggles, they have like the arrow pads, they have like a spinner, they have like this like fidget looking cube, they have like a thing right here, like a bunch of different things and different ways to play games, which I thought was a great way to introduce her into like the Nintendo um, or into if she wants to ever play PlayStation or stuff like that. It's a way for her to learn and grasp that concept down, but there's also educational games on it so um i think at first she's gonna open this to be like cool but then when we actually are like it's like a gaming device she's gonna freak out and like love it so um it already comes with 12 games and three virtual pets 
Um, and I was playing with it in store and I think she's really gonna like it. So, and this is something that obviously Eleanor can learn to use as well. And you can create multiple profiles for kids. This I think retails for about $70. I think it's like $69.99, but it's been on sale for about $49 at both Amazon, Target, and Walmart. I bought it at Target because they were running a sale for anything over $50 you got 10 off and um, it also, if you bought this, you got an extra game set included. So you buy these little eggs and they are extra games to play. So this one had trolls in it, which she loves. And then it also had this cookie sweet treats game, which is totally up her alley as well. Once again, four to eight years are the age ranges. Um, and they come with like these little charms and stuff to go with it. But so like a whole extra two games and this, but this was free. I think this is like $14.99 or $12.99. I don't know, something around there on its own. Um, but I got it for free when I purchased this. And I, in total with like all my coupon codes and all that stuff, I ended up paying only $40 for both of these things, which was less than what I was paying for with the vanity and the um, wardrobe and all that stuff from the My Life stuff. And this is educational. I feel like she's really, really going to love this. She's been really wanting to be able to play like the PlayStation. My brother plays it and he plays a lot of like friendly game, you know, family friendly games around her and stuff like that. But she's been wanting to do it and she just struggles. And so I feel like this will be something that will really help her. And when she had her assessment at school, she like was off the charts on all of the, um, all of like the categories, social, academic, all of that stuff. But for whatever reason, like the technological part she struggled with. Um, especially with like the mouse, like using it hand-eye coordination wise, just with the mouse because she can write beautifully. But for whatever reason, that's like a struggle part for her and so I think this will really help. So that is it. This video is so long, I'm so sorry. I hope you got some more ideas if you're looking for last minute items or if you're watching this next year. I hope that this helped you guys and you had fun watching it. I know that I probably totally, not probably totally, I know I went overboard on my kids, but I love to spoil them. They're only little ones and they're fantastic children. Um, they don't get this all the time, they know that. And it's just fun to like really make things as magical as possible. So. And obviously that you don't have to do that by buying a bunch of gifts, but I just, anyway, you know what I'm saying, guys. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday season, a wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, I feel, hope this time of year is just amazing and filled with so much joy and happiness for you. I know holidays can be hard, and from the bottom of my heart, I know that dealing, going through my first Christmas without my dad, it has been so hard and consistently shocking, but I know that there's still so much joy to be had and there's still so much life to be lived and I hope you guys feel the same way. Um, and if you don't, my heart goes out to you and I just, I'm thinking about you. So, um, also, so many of you have asked me to film Christmas morning. I've gotten so many <laughs> comments on that. Um, I have literally filmed every Christmas since my kids have been born. And with intention to upload it and I never do I just feel like it's never exciting and fun um, but I'm sure you guys would probably feel differently and enjoy it but for me I'm like I don't know I don't know so I will do that after I got the overwhelming amount of you guys saying do it so I'm gonna do it I we do a big thing on Christmas Eve as well as Christmas Day so you will have loads of Christmas vloggage and footage for you guys to enjoy and that's probably the next thing you will see I'm guessing after this video um, but that is it. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys all soon. And if I don't see you, have a very Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.